Tell me, tell me what happened to them. Oh, the police were just shooting in at the building at anyone who happened to like be peering out. Um, so it wasn't necessarily that they were being provoked or anything. So it wasn't that they were being provoked or anything. They were just shooting into the building anywhere where they saw like a person peeking out or something. Because they were strategically posted. Like if you can see that light, it's the one that caused the disadvantage for us. Because it meant that they could see us from outside and they could hide in the blind spots and behind cars and those trees and we weren't able to see them. But they could see inside the building. Like, Picking the reflection of everyone in the backdrop from the glass. So just tell people what you were telling me, just while you, while you started there. Oh, so this is what the police were doing. They called me to negotiate with them, and then they pointed a gun at me, saying that, listen, lady, tell your people to stop. I'm like, what must we stop? Because you guys are shooting at us. And then they said, no, if you guys sing, we're not going to do anything. Man? Fine. And then it's like, come to your balcony so that I can see you, where your room is. And then I'm like, what do you want to do to me? Because that side, I'll only be the, I'll be the only one. What if you shoot at me? It's like, I can't even guarantee that I'm not going to shoot at you. Because you guys are disturbing and you guys, are, we want to go. And you guys are supposed to go and sleep. I'm like, why are you telling us to go to sleep like right now? Because you don't even understand that we have to study. And you guys are here disturbing our peace. And he said, lady, um, see that car over there pointing at Anyala? Mm -hmm. There are 900 police there. We're gonna shoot at you and we're gonna hurt you. That's what he said. Sure. And also like shot at. I think what's worse with the computer lab is that the kids who are sitting in there are actually admittedly part of the 77% silent majority. They went as far as admitting this. They were sitting there trying to seek refuge from all the emotion, but then they were shot at um, repeatedly. We'll show you now. They shared the glasses in the computer now. Okay. Is his watch still in here? Yeah. Where is it? That's on the floor. This is the blood. They shot her here at close range and that was the blood that spilled. This is the watch of the policeman who slapped her because they came in the police didn't enter the building. But this is his watch that came off when he was assaulting her. When police at the it came off after after he the hit, her hit her in her room. They knocked on her door. Okay, please tell me the story of how he did it. Like I had noises, so as soon as I opened the door, there's like two, three cops there. Mm. So as soon as I saw them, I tried closing the door and mm. they were like, Hey, when are you still up? Open up, open up. As soon as I open up, they started hitting me, both of them, like slaps and everything. So it's because there were two of them. I was trying to hold the other one with the hand. That's how the watch oh. fell off. So as they were hitting me, I was falling back into my room. And then the other one was just like this with the gun. Like, Oof. And I was standing right there mm. at that time. So, and as they were beating me up, they're asking me, why am I still awake at this time? Why am I still awake at this time? As if I'm supposed to be sleeping. And so, did, did you get wounded on your hand? No, um, this was the trip at the hospital. Oh, okay. Where did you get wounded exactly? Yeah. On the hip. Wow, so it's... Did it pierce your skin? Yeah, um, just check this out. Oh, okay. So you've got them on your phone? Yeah. There were a group of students who were just sitting peacefully, not doing anything. And then the police saw them, they were standing at the computers, the police saw them and then shot into the windows like that. So we don't understand if the curfew is going to even encroach on the fact that students can't study in-house, that you must be asleep. Yes, I think It's getting too out of hand. It is. It's too out of control. The police were literally saying, go to sleep for the night. Because even when you switch on your lights, you can't switch on your lights because you know once you switch on your lights, they shoot at the room. So what are we supposed to be doing right now? Because we're going to be writing exams, as they say. Mm -hmm. So then, are we not supposed to be studying? Are they saying we must sleep at 10 o'clock? Mm -hmm. That is 
that is just not because on. The, the, the curfew for us is limiting the whole academic activities to be continued scenario because for us it's not continuing because we're being attacked in our place of residence on a Friday night peacefully and we also feel as though the curfew is being imposed on predominantly black students because no other form of students are on campus between 10 and 6 but us so they are really trying to limit us in ways that we don't even understand and also it does not make sense for them to tell us to go to bed at 10 when we have to study some of us we always like sleep at like 3 a.m in the morning every day so when they're saying that we need to sleep at 10 are they saying that we don't have to do all our work in time what are they trying to say like sure. and even the university i mean that's the reason why we have 24 hour libraries if Vele, we were supposed to be asleep by that time. We don't have a curfew, apart from, well, now we have a curfew, but we never had a curfew. And you could stay at the library however long you wanted to stay at the library. You stayed, literally, we sleep at the library sometimes, even though, like, we stay close by. So why do they want us not to study? And even the students who are here, they were most probably even doing their work because this is a study area. So why are they shooting at the study areas too? Can you talk about the trauma and how it's actually impacting your well-being, Psychological, emotional well being. I can't sleep at night. It's too. Yeah. Personally, I can't sleep at night. Each and every single day when I try to close my eyes, I always hear screams and I always hear like loud um, bangs and stuff. Like today, when I tried sleeping, I constantly had nightmares of like police shooting outside my window. And like, I don't know, it's like very, very sad. Well for, well, for me yesterday, I think the most epic thing was as we were running through the residence trying to secure everyone and trying to make sure that no one was in a common space that they could get shot at, we kept asking each other, like, can you believe that this is happening? It's 2016 and we're barricading windows so that the police don't shoot us from the outside. Like, it was horrifying and you're speaking to like people who are in their early 20s and this is shocking and for most of them they wanted the academic program to continue so they were horrified to find that even in their space of residences the, the, the protest was literally brought to our door yesterday we were not looking to do what happened or for what happened to happen but we were forced into spaces where now we need to be ducking and diving mm -hmm. and running for our lives within the residence which is confusing because the curfew said that except residents or accommodation spaces, which this is. So it's, we're quite perplexed actually. It is quite traumatizing for a lot of students and we might all actually need psychological help after this. True, because we also don't like, last night when, we, when I saw, because I was at the security booth in order to help like students that are coming in to press the buttons because even our own security guard was really scared. He's an old man. And literally when they came, the first thing you do is duck down and you like move, like crawl on your feet until you can stand up and run away. And when I got into my room, my body was like so weak because I sat on my bed and as I was sitting, waiting, it was around quarter to five in the morning and there was someone knocking at my neighbor's door. Literally, I don't even know what to do because I don't have data, I don't have Wi-Fi, I don't have anything. And I was wondering, who am I going to call if anything happens to me? Because they are banging the door like crazy as though they wanted to like fall down, this, this, the door must break. So it's really, it's terrifying because you don't know, should you sleep under your bed? Because some of our rooms are like right here, we, know, we don't have rooms on this side. And you can't sleep when such things are happening. You cannot sleep, you cannot study to begin, and that's what we're here to do here. And if they're coming to our homes, well, second homes, how then should we protect ourselves? Management is not protecting us, they're not doing anything. They keep defending the people who are shooting us. I know a few 